guys and welcome back to my channel sorry about my voice i am sick right now so this is the before of the dresser and it's so crazy to see it like this because now i have it all done and set up but first i'm just going to take a wet rag and i'm just going to wipe down the dresser as you can see it was very dusty and dirty so yeah i'm just wiping down everything And then I'm going to be taking the drawers out of the dresser. Um, and when I did this, there were so many spiders in here everywhere. It was disturbing. And then I'm just, I'm going to be vacuuming up all of those spiders, <laughs> their webs and everything. It's just so dirty on the inside. So I'm using this small little vacuum. I'll link it in my description box, but I'm going to be using that to clean it up. And then to keep our floors um, drip free from the paint, I'm gonna be putting this, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna be putting this plastic drop cloth down on the floor underneath the dresser. And then I got this paint kit uh, or this painting brush kit, whatever. I got this from Amazon. I will link it below, but I like this a lot. It was a good price too. So it comes with a big brush, a paintbrush, regular brush, a foam brush, a little mini roller, foam roller, and then a big one. And then it has just the replacements for each one of them. And then it also does come with a stick to stir the paint. So that was nice as well. And I got this paint, you guessed it, from Amazon. Um, it's a repurposing paint. It's funny because it looks blue here, even after mixing it, like it looks blue when I started to put it on. I was so worried at first that I got the wrong color. It definitely dries to a satin black, so that was good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use the big brush mainly. I know I do use the little mini foam roller for like the drawers and everything, but I mainly just use the big paint brush for this. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue on painting. in total I think I did about three coats two or three coats on this dresser so this is after the first coat and now I'm going to be taking out the hardware that's on my dressers they're going to be getting brand new hardware if you've seen my nightstand um makeover they get the same drawers that that one did because they were from the same set so I don't know why I just started to do like the corners and everything first and then I started to paint the insides but the insides were the very first thing that I did paint and I made sure to do this because this dresser was really old so that's actually the main reason I'm painting it to begin with is because I need my clothes to not smell so damp and musty just because of how old the dresser is. So you could leave the inside completely bare. I did do the top part of it and that was literally it. But yeah, so here's how they are looking. Inside's painted now. Um, I do have two that are not. We will get to them. Um, I just have so much going on. So I think I might do them later.
Okay, so as you can see, this is the second coat on the dresser drawers, except for you can see right down there, it's separating. I did not do the sides. I really, am, if I'm going to be honest, do not care about the sides. So I just did one coat on them. Um, and I think I honestly am just going to keep it like that because I just do not care. And yeah, so far it's looking really nice. And when I come back, because it's my grandpa's birthday, so we're going to go to his house and celebrate a little bit. So once I come back, we are then going to um, put drawer pulls on the drawers. And then I'm going to put them in and do the last two. And then I will be done with the project, which I'm so excited for. It's looking so good. I am thrilled. Like, I'm so glad I did this. So yeah, just stay tuned and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm starting on the handles now. I got these from Amazon, of course, and I'll link it below. Um, yeah, so I'm just lining them up with the holes on the, the drawers and then I'm just tightening them in. Pretty self-explanatory. So this is the final look and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I am so glad that I did this. I do plan on making more furniture, um, renovation type of things and DIY. So if you like this sort of thing, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely be back for more. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a blessed day.